The plaid girdle is typically a member which is used to carry large loads over a long span that are possible with the row universal or compound beams. It is normally used in buildings and industrial structures for long span floor girdle, heavy crane girdles, and in bridges. It is normally constructed by welding the steel plates together to form a I-beam or a box girdle section. The members are normally in the very slender mode where the height is relatively high in comparison to the width of the member. A plate girdle is normally made of the plates which are made of the same grade of steel. A typical plate girdle comprises two flanks and a web plate. And it is normally fabricated through welding with one of the sides is welded twice. During the fabrications, you will weld one side first before you go for the, the other side and then you will conduct welding again on the first side there. That means one side there will be two second parts of the weld while the other side weld for once. As a measure to ensure a more economical solutions, the web is normally relatively thin in compared to the row sections. And for that, stiffeners are introduced to prevent buckling. The stiffeners is normally provided below the point loops and also at the support. Its purpose is to resist the wet buckling and also to provide support to any concentrated load or reactions. The stiffeners is normally welded to the wet and the flank at both sides of the wet. This represents the stiffener or sometimes we normally call it as an intermediate stiffener while well, this represents the end post. The width of the flange are normally 110 or 112 of the span and its width are normally one third of the depth of the plate girdle. For deep girdle, the flange can be smaller. As for the design requirement, we need to ensure the minimum thickness of the wet plate and also to check for the stiffness. These are some typical connections for the beams and columns to the plate girders. These are some splice connections for the girdle. It can be in the mode of bolt and nut or in the mode of the welded splice.